Welcome back to the last video in this series. So you've built your prototype and tested it. You found out that it still needs some improvement, or maybe you need to go back to the drawing board entirely. Time to iterate. Iteration is basically going back and trying again. I call this the last step in the design process, but that's not really true. The design process is more of a cycle since you're going to be going back to earlier steps. This is where learning from failure is really important. When you iterate, you're not just changing your idea or design without any plan. You're using the lessons you learned from your testing to improve your design. If it's a technical problem, you might need to do a new version of the prototype or modify part of it to fix whatever didn't work. If it's a usability problem, in other words, the prototype works, but the user doesn't like it for whatever reason, you might need to make some changes based on the feedback you got. And if it's not actually addressing the problem, you might even need to go back to the brainstorming stage and revisit some of your other ideas or even consider some new ideas. Iterating happens as many times as you need it to. For a simple project, you might only need one iteration. For a more complex project, you might have tons of iterations and go back through the design process a bunch of times. In fact, more often than not, the first prototype looks nothing like the final result or even your initial idea. The fun thing about design is there's no perfect solution or single right answer, but there's usually ways to make your design better. So for this very last activity, iterate. Use what you learn from testing your prototype to improve your design. This probably isn't a short activity you can do just during this video. So think of it as something you can keep working on after this series is over. But use the next few minutes to write notes on what you think you'll want to change about your idea or prototype in the next iteration. Congrats! You've made it through the design process. You've come up with a problem you want to solve, brainstormed a bunch of ideas, made prototypes and tested them, and now you've got the chance to iterate and make them even better. Hopefully, you've got a project or idea to submit to the Do Your Bit Challenge. Good luck, and remember, this process isn't just for the Do Your Bit Challenge or the micro bit. It works for any kind of engineering or design project. This is the same process I've used to design robots, products, and other engineering projects. It even works for other creative activities like coming up with a new recipe or writing a book. For more resources about Do Your Bit and the Microbit, check out microbit.org and okdo.com. You can also subscribe to the OKDo OK channel on YouTube for more videos like these. And last thing, feel free to post comments or questions about the Microbit, the design process, or engineering in general, and we'll try to answer them for you. Okay, do your best. Thanks for tuning in.